of Rex number one. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Chakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who taught us all this truth. And Shalom to all the Achim and his truth and sincerity, starting with the 144,000 and the one third of the nation of Israel, which we're fighting to be a part of. All right, I'm coming back with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing to be, you know, straight to the point and edifying. And uh, as you can see, the title is As a Thief to Those in Darkness. All right, as a thief to those in darkness, going into, um, you know, how the day of the Lord, you know, is going to be as a thief in the night to those who do not have this light. All right. And, uh, you know, it's lucky if I'm talking low, you know, I'm out. I'm out in the, um, my backyard, you know, and I, I don't want to uh, talk too too loud because, you know, I don't want neighbors to hear me and shit. So, yeah, it's a lot here about that. But, um, low willing, I'm not talking too low. But, uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're living in in the end, all right? We're at the end of this wicked kingdom known as America, all right, which is known in the Bible as Babylon the Great. All right, so we're going through a transition period of the end of this kingdom and the beginning of the kingdom of Israel, all right, which is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, all right, which Yahweh is the name of the Most High God and Yahweh is the name of his only begotten son, all right, but without further ado, I'm going to get uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1, it says, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right. So, you know, those that are in the know, you know, you know what time that we're in. You know, you know, you know the season that we're in. OK. And um, we're, we're living in a time, like I said, of the end. OK. We're, we're at the end of the end. Like Elder Apostle Tahar said, you know, this uh, Babylon the Great only has months left. All right, whether it be, you know, whether it be 10 months, 20 months, 30 months, this place only has months left. <laughs> this place, you know, it don't, this, this place doesn't got, you know, 20 years. This, this place doesn't got 10 years. This place has months left. Okay. So, you know, that's the times and seasons that we're in. All right, we're, we're in the time of, of uh, World War Three. Okay. Which, which that that's brewing more. World War Three is is brewing more and more every day. All right, we're uh, in the time of you know the RFID D chip, okay, being uh, made mandatory, which is the MOTB. We're in the time of great judgment as well. All right, beginning with what you know those that know that they're Israelites. All right, so this is a very uh, serious time, and that's the the times and seasons that we're in. And we, and then you know, we know that the day of the Lord is gonna come as a thief in the night as well to these to these people in the world, not to us. All right, because um, let me get it real quick. It's not gonna come as a thief in the night to us, because we actually have the wisdom and knowledge. All right. Isaiah, uh, why did I get six? I meant uh, 33 and six. Isaiah 33 and six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Remember, it says of the time, you know, uh, I have no need to write unto you of the times and seasons, all right? The times and seasons is the times that we're living in right now, all right? And also, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, which, you know, damn, we're damn near in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? You know, things haven't popped off and gotten as serious as they're going to get, though. You know, like brothers always say, we haven't gotten to the hard part yet. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, all right? Because, you know, that's... The fear of the Lord is going to move you to, to do, the fear of the Lord is going to move you 
you know, to do what you to do what you got to do, you know, to be on the Lord's good side. All right. Because if you don't fear the Lord, you're not going to be moved. You know, you know, you, you know, we all had that moment. You know, if if you were watching the videos, you know, the GMS videos, we all had a moment where, where a brother was on was on, you know, at camp saying, you know, you men that are watching, you know, you need to get out here, you know. Now, I know every brother doesn't have the same story, but, you know, a lot of brothers do have that same story. You know, I know I do. But we had a moment where, you know, the Lord put the spirit on, on one of his servants, you know, to pretty much curse you out, you know, for, for not doing doing his will. OK, that's the fear of the Lord. That's what that's what motivates us. And that's what drives us to fear of the Lord. And that's why it's likened unto a treasure, because not everyone fears the Lord. Our, the, 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 the Lord doesn't put the spirit on everyone to fear him. All right. Only the elect is going to fear the Lord. And I mean, you know, like truly fear the Lord, to to do it, to do His will. Okay, but that's that's why, um, you know, we're not going to be. That's why it's not going to be as a thief in the night to us. All right, First Thessalonians five and three says, "For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child." And they shall not escape. So, you know, these people are in that peace and safety spirit because, you know, they, they're thinking, oh, we're going to, uh, you know, we're just going to vote another uh, a president in office, you know. And, uh, and he's going to he's going to fix everything, you know, the same old the same the same old, uh, <laughs> the, the same old uh, what you call it? Esau be, be running the same the same old play on these people, you know. They're thinking, oh, we're gonna vote another, uh, we're gonna vote another president in office. He's gonna fix everything, you know. The scripture says, "Woe unto you that that, that put your trust in man." Right, you people really uh, put your trust in Esau, all right. The scripture also says, "Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help." All right, there is no help in, in this place. Our help is of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. But that's why, you know, you people are going to get caught in that snare of thinking that, that everything is, you know, peace and safety. Then that sudden destruction is going to come upon you. All right. And the, and the Lord uh, uh, put, put you people in that trick bag. All right. The Lord made you people think that, you know, everything was going to be all right. You know, that things are going to go back to normal. And that's what Esau is going to say to people with that with that chip. All right, they're going to say, "Oh, if you, if you take this, if you take this device in your, your right hand or your forehead, you know, you'll be able to to go on the internet again. You'll be able to to do this and that. You know, you'll be uh, linked into the society. You know, that's why Esau, you know, comes out with all these these little <laughs> these little fucking uh, gadgets and shit. All right, these little gadgets." Uh, Oh, oh, the metaverse, you know, they, they, they're making it more and more appealing so that when they take it away from you people and then, you know, whether it be from a so-called cyber attack or whatever, they're going to take the Internet away from you people. And then when they bring it back to you, they're going to present it with that chip. All right. They're going to make, make you people want to go back to the way things are things were. But, the, the, you know, like that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, there is no going there is no uh, How do they say it in the movie I forget exactly how they said it But they pretty much said in, the, in that movie There is no going back You know There is no Going back to the way things were Alright There was a Somebody in that movie uh, Said something like that I, I don't remember the exact words But that's pretty much what they said You know Roughly paraphrasing There is no going back to the way things are And that's what the scripture is talking about Let me read it one more time It says for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So they're going to be thinking, oh, you know, we take the we take the chip, you know, we'll be able to go to the grocery store. You know, and I'm, I'm really just talking about. I was really at first I was just talking about, you know, like going back to 
being able to get on the internet and shit like that. You know, it's going to be even deeper than that. You know, it's going to be food. You know, you won't be able to, to, to buy any uh, groceries. You won't be able to work, all right, without that, that C-hip. But they're going to, that's how they're going to uh, tempt, tempt you with it, all right? Really tempt us. They're going to, you know, the hour of temptation. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Get that real quick, you know. But that that goes in, into that. These people are gonna be in the spirit of uh, peace and safety. Like, oh, they, we're gonna be safe. Everything's gonna be all right. We just, you know, uh, uh, take that seat, hit. you know. Which we're here to tell you that's not the case. You know, this devil is, uh, you know, gonna deceive you into taking that. All right, and once you take that, you know, you're you're still gonna be destroyed. All right. It's not like you're going to take that and then, you know, America's just going to live happily ever after. The Lord isn't going to come back. Like, no, the, the Lord is still coming back. <laughs> Even if you if, if you take that, the Lord is still going to get your ass. You're not going to uh, live a full life. The scripture speaks about uh, a grievous sore unto those that, that took that, that mark. All right. So you're not just going to live a happily ever after life, man. You, you're going to the Lord is going to judge you. And, that, and that's a very scary thing. Remember, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is what's going to keep us from taking that thing. All right. Revelation 3 and 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which is the truth, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, you know, the hour of temptation is when this devil is going to Try to make it irresistible not to to uh, not to take that chip. You know he's gonna make it irresistible, but the elect isn't gonna be deceived. All right, like Yahweh Shah said in Matthew twenty four. You know this devil's gonna be doing all type of uh, miracles. You know oh you 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 know healing healing the the blind, giving sight to the blind, uh, those that are deaf, giving them their Giving them the ability to hear again, giving the making the lame walk. This devil's gonna be doing all type of miracles with that that C hip, with that that chip, to the point, and also with their project blue beam and shit like that. You know, you know, putting projections in, in the sky, which they're already doing that. All right, I seen videos. I think in Vegas, where they they, they made it look like a portal opened up in the sky and, and like some type of demonic looking thing came out of it. Well, that's project blue beam. You know, this devil. Yeah, how was I said they're gonna. Be doing so much uh, miracles and lying wonders that, to the point to where even if it were possible, you know, they would have de deceived the elect. All right. It's going to get to that point to where even the elect would be would have been deceived if they weren't of the elect. All right. You know, our, our faith is going to be tried to damn near the point of overthrow. All right. It says, um. Or is that? I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So Yahweh Shah is coming back very quickly, man. And we got to hold on to this truth, you know, for dear life, because our life really does depend on it. So going back to this. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. Just like a woman can't, a, a woman that is about to give birth, she can't stop the baby from coming out. You know that baby's coming out. All right, <laughs> there's nothing you can do to stop it. It says, um, and they shall not escape. Meaning, you know, you the prophecies are going to happen regardless. You can't escape the prophecies. All right, you can't, you can't, you know. You know, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to take the chip so I could, so things could go back to normal. You can't escape the prophecies. Things ain't going back to normal. You know, America's going to be destroyed. All right. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. We're not in darkness, man. We got this this marvelous light. All right. You know, that's what the script the scripture says. Uh, the Lord called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. So we're not in darkness. We're not stumbling around like you people. You know, we got the answers through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord revealed the truth to us so we can see. We can see clearly. 
All right. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Like that song, you know. We can see clearly. But you people, you know, you you people are wearing uh rose tinted uh, glasses. All right. You're looking at at the, at, the, at America like it's gonna go back to normal. You want this place to go back to normal, you know. You you people, you want this place to continue on. You know, niggas always be be talking about oh, in 20, 2050, and twenty fifty, uh, this and that is gonna be happening. Like like no, nigga, America don't got that long. All right, it's always you know it's always our people saying that shit too. You know that that's that's the spirit of the Edomite. The scripture says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. But Jake took on that spirit. I always see Jake saying, oh, 2050, 2060, you know, our grandkids. You know, in my mind, I'm just thinking that's bold of you to assume that. This place don't got that long. All right, I'm going to skip down to verse 7. It says, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. So, you know, us that have this light, you know, we got to continue to hope in that salvation. You know, don't be like these people in the world that don't have hope. All right. That's what separates us. You know, well, there's a, f a few things that separates us from these people. But, you know, there's certain people in the world that, that know everything is bullshit, you know. Reminds me of, of that lesson that uh, Apostle Gabar did a while back. Of that, I think he was a Northern Kingdom. I think he was a Jake, but, you know, he was uh, pretty much lamenting on video. You know, oh, why is life like this? Uh, you know, this is bullshit. This this isn't, you know, life sucks. He was pretty much just going and lamenting, you know. And a lot of the stuff that he said is, is how we be feeling in the truth. But what separates us is that hope of salvation, you know. These people don't got hope. So we got we got to you know put on that that hope as a helmet you know. Put it on to, you know as a guard onto us, you know to to guard ourselves from losing our our damn mind and from losing faith. We got to keep that helmet of salvation on. Like I said, and then also you know the breastplate of faith. All right, and in Ephesians it says the shield of faith, but it's just painting the picture that these things is is what's gonna guard us. And keep us stable. It's going to guard us. If you have a shield that guards you from attacks. If you have on a breastplate, you know, that it, 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 it protects you. So the, the scriptures is painting the picture that, you know, there's these, these certain attributes, faith, the hope of salvation. It's, it's a protection for us, you know. It says uh, of faith and love. You know, hey, doing these videos, that's a labor of love. All right. Doing the work is a labor of love. For the elect's sake. It says, For the most high have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So the Lord didn't bring us into this truth and give us his name, reveal his secrets unto us, you know, uh, you know, give us the correct teachers, give us beautiful teachers, you know, beautiful leaders. He didn't just do that to appoint us to wrath. Like, no. We gotta have that hope of salvation. The Lord brought us in here to obtain salvation and mercy. You know, by way of Yahweh Shah coming back and beaming us up on the chariot and giving us that new body so that we can enter into that new covenant. All right. So um, let me see. I got one more. Proverbs 22 and uh, 3. Let me get that real quick. Okay. End off on this. Proverbs 30. I mean, <laughs> Proverbs 22 and 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are on are punished. So we see that evil coming. You know, we're not in darkness that that day should overtake us as a thief. So we're going to hide ourselves. And how we're going to do that? We're going to hide ourselves under the shadow of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and his truth. You know, we're going to hide ourselves in the Lord's truth. Like it says in Psalms 91, thy truth shall be thy shield and buckler. That's what's going to protect us and guide us and hide us from that judgment that the Lord is getting ready to bring. But you people are going to pass on. Because you're simple-minded, and you're going to be punished for your, your simple-mindedness, all right, in the way of destruction, in the form of destruction, and we're trying to avoid that. So that's pretty much it. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, giving all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rechah Kodash, that belongs to the Apostle.